Honor Club, where honor is real. Hey, I'm Caprice Coleman, and I'm getting ready to watch my first match at Ring of Honor. Uh, this match took place in 2004 uh, in Wilmington, Ohio. I was 27 at the time. And for me, this was a big match because it was my opportunity uh, to get a contract somewhere. And I was going somewhere where uh, AJ Styles was at the time. And, and the group that I'm wrestling with, we were all from Wild Side. So we were kind of all familiar with each other. And uh, we had a chance to put on a Four Corner Survival match. And so at this time, my persona was like Caprice Ice Coleman. So I was like the coldest brother alive uh, type thing. So uh, let's get on and see, uh, see how this match goes all right for a corner survival the code of honor right now uh raymond and i are feuding heavily at nwa wild side right now so we're kind of like reluctant but we also respect each other uh at the time as well and so sometimes you kind of try to bring your feuds in to tell the story of what's going on. The bell just rang. Got Todd Sexton in there. Todd Sexton, Jimmy Rave. Jimmy Rave is definitely known uh, at Ring of Honor. He had just gotten there. And uh, this is his chance to shine. And it was our chance and our opportunity to try to get a job as well. Four Corner Survival, a staple on the ROH shows. One of the good innovations of ROH. I think everybody in this match... Uh, we're at the top of the game at this time. Todd Sexton is doing well. Jimmy Rave, of course, you know who he is. And Rain Man, we had a long stay in Ring of Honor. Then you have Todd Sexton. That's who he's in there with right now. Caprice Coleman and Rain Man all making their ROH debuts tonight. Absolutely. And all four of these guys are excellent young wrestlers, excellent young up-and-comers. I tell you what, you talk about... Can't believe this was 16 years ago. When you're talking about being tutored by AJ Styles. And this is a very important match for all four men. Of course, four corner survival, the first ball wins it. No eliminations, no, hey, I'll let the next guy get, I'll get, I'll get this guy. All right, here I come. Rain, rain, man. And the winner of this one is sure to get future bookings in our own. Nice looking kid, man. I mean, I'm not even a kid. I'm a grown man, I'm 27 years old, so I can't say I'm a kid. Wow. Staples down for a lockup, he stuck me right in the face. Boom, right he goes right for it. And a big clothesline. That was just a straight up punch right to the head. Raymond and Caprice Coleman, no strangers to each other. They've wrestled many times before, and now there's so much on the line that they try to earn a job here in Ring of Honor. Absolutely. Good, good clubber and forearms right there. Nice European uppercut by Rainman. There's another one. Nothing fancy We're about all that. nervous all, here. Definitely impact. Boom. And Caprice back with a right of his own. Little rope dope there. Trying to show a little speed there. Left, right, punches to the kidneys right there. Punches to the stomach and a big right right to the face. Slow right down, down, kids. Slow down. I'm so antsy here, man. I don't man, I, so much energy. I think Jimmy Rave tags himself in. Wow. That was awesome, man. And him at the time, I think he was like 20 years old. Not even, no, he wasn't 20. He was like still 16, 17 Definitely putting on some size. Look uh, type age. He was very young. Maybe 18 because he had to be 18. Todd Sexton. Todd Sexton was a lot of a, a young general. Wow. At his time, that neck breaker. My God. Even looking at it now, it looks crazy. Nice kick. I've never seen anything like that before. I've never seen anything like that, Lovey. I think uh, Rink, uh, Wild Side, we were a lot of innovators back then. I think you'll see a lot of moves now that that we do here that other people kind of do now that they you wonder where they got it from that springboard leg Larry nice spin kick there off the second rope by Coleman you know Rain Man might be pissed off in life maybe some therapy maybe Ring of Honor needs to help him with some therapy or something roll like, like a butterfly sting like, like a bee Rain Man better worry about earning a job here earning this spot wow winning this match and Coleman could win it right now I call that move the cold snap <laughs> cold snap are you kidding me <laughs> For another spin kick. Kick caught. Wow. Nice fisherman buster. Fisherman suplex there. Todd Sexton needs to get up and follow up. I think we were just move. trying to show our best I think here. Sexton needs a tag. And, and Jimmy Rave is a fresh man in. Jimmy Rave coming in. And that crowd is honest, man. If they don't like you, man, they let you know. Spins him around. 
Sexton trying for that power driver. No, he couldn't get Rave up. Try it for it again. Rave reverse. It was a power bomb, and Rave caught him in a. Hold on, I think the Rain Man. Look at this power driver. Oh, power driver on Jimmy Rave. Wow. And Hanson not making the count. Yes, Rain Man is a legal man in the match, and what a beautiful elbow off the top rope. And he goes for the cover. I'll tell you what, man, this is a match of four guys that wanted to make it into business. We were hungry. And that's M double impact right there on Jimmy Ray. Mm. Wow, nice side slam right there. Very What's crazy is I'm trying to remember like the back names back the uh, of the moves because the back then we had a name for like all of our moves. Right there. He's got those hard right forearms, hard right hands. But Jimmy Rave, no stranger to Rain Man either, fighting back right there, doing some clever of his own, ducking the clothesline. Beautiful, Beautiful. suplex right there. Beautiful. Nice over the head release, belly to belly by Jimmy Rave. Will he be more aggressive? That's what AJ Styles wants to see out of him. AJ Styles teaching him one lesson after another. Let's see how well Jimmy Rave has learned. Yeah. Oh, we go. Nice drop kick wow. here, taking out the yeah. knee. Caprice Coleman, Todd Sexton. Looks like he's going for a figure four, and he's got it locked in. Did you see both of my knees are like uh, protected there because I've had a lot of knee problems down there. And, um, they gotta remember the good part about this Todd Sexton knew what he was doing, so he was trying to show the crowd that he knew what he was doing. It was kind of a malicious move at this time. And Caprice Coleman, in the meantime, is in a world of pain from this figure four leg lock. Someone might want to think about. See, I had like a chain around my neck, trying to be pretty or something. Man. <laughs> no one is around when you go for a pin or submission, or it's going to get broken up. And look at that, Caprice Coleman reversing the hole. Absolutely reversing that hole. And now Rain Man coming Go. in, getting him in a camel clutch type deal. Jimmy Rave with the arms, with the arm submission hold right there with the bridge. Dark City oh. Sleeper is what he used to call that thing, man. And Caprice Coleman fought out with back elbows. Just a big four-way submission fest right there. Nobody able to gain the submission. Jimmy Rave up right now, getting on Rain Man. Big stiff forearm. Another one right there. What's he gonna come up with? Rayman holding on to the ropes and Raven wow. looking over. Oh my god. Put him right in backdrop. Jimmy Rave, he always gave 110%, man. He went all the way over to that floor hard. Say, ooh! My god. Beautifully done by Sexton as he roars like an eagle over that top rope. There are no mats on the outside of the ring, man. It's woo. Suicide dive, if you will. And here goes Rain Man. Oh, he's a big guy. Unbelievable! All three of them over the top rope. Wow, did you see how Rain Man cleared the top rope? Look at me, man. I'm ready. Now Caprice Coleman pumping himself I'm ready. Up. Waiting on these guys to get to their feet, waiting man. I'm all pumped up. Right. That extra Maybe energy that I'm doing too much, here. man. It comes. Big high springboard right Come there. Come on, man. Body. Just listen Take to him. I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let you hear this. fans here in Ohio eating it up. I don't think I've ever seen anyone go quite that high on a springboard before. Absolutely not. Jimmy Ray all alone in the ring. What's he going to do? He's going to get a super Boy. kick from Todd Sexton. Now, Todd Sexton was one that was trained by, wow. Oh, Caprice Coleman a little late on that lock drip, but uh, Todd Sexton was trained by Shawn Michaels, by the way. So that was one of his things. Uh, he had a super kick just as good as Shawn Michaels. Check this out. Wow, a diamond cutter right there. And a, a new way to get into it. To a call cutter. that thermal shock. <laughs> Rain Man making the save. Caprice Coleman down now. Rain Man, the only man standing. Big chop by Rain Man. Man. Who's going to earn a spot in ROH? We could find out soon. Big spine buster, Arn Anderson style on Caprice Coleman. God. Rain Man needs to go for the pin. Jimmy Rave right on top of him. That's the thing. Four corner survival. You can't go for that pin unless everybody's out of commission. Wow, watch, watch this. Watch this suplex. Oh, into a suplex. Oh. Rain Man lands right on his head. Cover. Broken up by Todd Sexton there on Jimmy Rave. I thought that was My it. God. And that should have been it right there on Rain Man. What is this? It is. Oh, Rave caught in a DDT with his feet on the rope. You know, 
I'm watching it and I'm like, we're kids here, but man, this this is an example of, of four young men that really wanted to make it in this sport, man. We, we were hungry. We were hungry. Look at this. Whoa, there's a nice move. Planet Redmond's ass. Yes, sir. That'll really rock your spine. Absolutely. I don't know what you call it. I just call it pain. These guys come up with so oh, I think I'm, I'm signaling for the comatosa. <laughs> it was a move that um I invented uh, way before 2004. And if you see right here. Gut rinse there. Oh! There you see it. Yeah. That's 2004. Mm. On the ropes is Rain Man and broken up by Jimmy Ray. I don't know how he yeah. got even got the strength to get to the ropes on that one. That had to be pure instinct by Rain Man right Ray there. Ray throws me out. I think I think that's it for me there. I own I think the finish is coming up soon, man. Oh, did you see Ray picking the head of, of Sexton? Yeah, he's at Roaring Knee, man. That's it, man. Yeah. Wow. I enjoyed the match and um I would rate my performance. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I think I was um, a young man uh, trying to make it in this sport, man. And I gave it my best at the time. Uh, I could pick it apart and say there were some times where I was moving too much. You know, I, I always feel like less is more um, in there. But everybody in that match was hungry, man. I, I love those guys. Even even today, um, I was talking like to Rain Man on social media. This was And this match was uh, 16 years ago. A lot of change, man. I, I've, I've gotten married since then. I've been married. Oh, man, I've been married for 16 years. So I think I was just getting ready to get married there. Um, I got married that summer. Wow. I don't know. I didn't have as much responsibilities as I have now. And I'm, I think I'm blessed to still have a, a job at Ring of Honor, whether it's doing commentary, whether it's wrestling, whether it's managing, uh, whether it's doing talent development in the back. Uh, or whatever because this sport continues to change and I just want to change with it. So, hey, I'm not going to uh, bore you to death by all this uh, conversation after the match because you've already saw the match uh, and all, but I want to thank you for watching uh, my debut again. And it was a treat for me as well, kind of having flashbacks, man. That was like an eight-hour drive and it was just me, you know, driving all the way up there uh, to Ohio to put on a great match, man, and I was thankful for the opportunity. Priest Coleman, talk to you later. Ciao.